this is another sketchbook. I've actually thrown a lot of the way that I did for this one, and I've kept the, the only two that I've got in there at the moment. Um, this is a um, nice 300 gram watercolour paper book that one of my daughters gave me, and um, it's got this cool little window in the front, which I kind of like. And I just did this, it's actually appropriated imagery. Somebody else had um, done this composition, I kind of liked it, so I, I copied it. Yeah, And this is a um, zoomed in image of a rose, so I was sort of looking at um, losing the um, focus on the image itself and looking at more what happens with the washes, etc. So again, it's like using the gouache, but very thin as a watercolour paint. Yeah. Okay, so one. I was um, wanting to use these water-based oil paints and I... Um, these ones here are Winston Newton. Um, and just to try them out, and I so I have a set that is just the warm and cold colours. So I've got, and I use them for everything. So there's my warm yellow, cool yellow, warm red, cool red, white, and there's a warm, warm blue there, French ultramarine, and a phthalo blue. It's a cool blue, and I'll obviously you could use cyan. So um, yeah, that's that's all I use. I don't, I really use the black, hardly ever touch it. So in for this, this work here, which I was looking to try and explore the use of texture and um, tone, I've um, just used those colours and played around with those things and I found them really, really lovely and on this paper, this canvas paper was really good. So um, that's a Bockingford oil pad and it's um, cotton fibre. Uh, 240 gram and it's a really um, nice way to play with oil paint just testing how these things can look